Morning guys, welcome back to another video. Before we get into it, I want to talk to you about something, specifically cable and calculating it. So the guys at Prismium have come up with a fantastic cable app. You can access this on the Rexal website, rexal.co.uk. The cable app allows you to calculate your cables and see the requirements clearly. It also identifies the most optimal cable to use and types for the job. Also calculates energy saving for you and you can order directly from the Rexal website. Not forgetting, you can get 10 pounds off Prismium cable when you spend 150 pound excluding VAT. And at the minute, that's only a couple of drums of cable. Just use code P-R-Y-S-10 at checkout and claim your discount. One of the things I do like is Prismium Cable has been manufactured in the UK for over 100 years. That's why Rexal are proud to stock Prismium Cable and it's available across all branches nationwide. So get stocked up on some Prismium Cable, be it FP, Twin and Earth, SWA. Get on the cable calculator and make your life a little bit easier when calculating the cable for the job. Now let's roll the videotape. Morning, day two. So... Previous video, you've seen us getting this uh, board put in, stripped out, blah, blah, blah. This is a Milwaukee tool store now. Uh, we've got two circuits wired, um, middle hallway socket and bedroom three. What we're doing now, right mate, got a kettle on. Um, we've just stripped out some cables that came up down this door frame here. They did a light switch there, look, they just used to bury them around the door frame. So we got to wire this kitchen, clients marked it out for us, but eventually this ceiling's going to be vaulted because it's actually an, uh, an extension with a vaulted ceiling, so he wants to take it up and put bellixes and whatnot in it. So um, we can't just wire this, this would be lovely because it's got its own loft, we can't just wire above and drop down, okay, so it's a bit more complicated than that. Fuse board's in there, what I'm going to do is that's the hallway that runs upstairs, I'll show you in a minute. Um, so light switch is going to be here with a double socket, okay? So what I'm going to do is drill into the corridor from here, back entry, run these two in the zone. Uh, that will get rid of those two. We've got bits, coffee machine and stuff we can do here as well. We can do those back entry from there. And then what we'll have to do is run a chase around. So probably from the corner there, we'll run it around 150 above the ceiling, okay? Um, and then we'll pick up all this gear on this wall and we'll carry the chase around around probably have to go up and around this window so eventually as i said this will be vaulted anyway and then drop down for some under cabinet lights double socket and a water heater under this sink here um so yeah we're going to get on with that today but i'll take you upstairs now so this is the state of our run at the minute all these boards have been up previously which is nice you can see where someone smashed out all the lava obviously the original ceiling would have touched these boards back in the day they obviously dropped them then and it's just a complete higgledy piggledy bits and bobs look but that corner is there's the vaulted roof that i was talking about for the kitchen so that corner is down here so if i drill on the angle i can get up into this space and as i said we can wire those lights and kitchen sockets from this back corridor where that kitchen is so that wall that's where we are and that's where we need to go so it's probably not far off what half a meter is it yeah. that's why we have these uh, um, one meter long drill bits we're drilling this bedroom socket as you do we're trying to come out in this floor look but we've got these big old trees that they've used in the way and i don't think there's a gap under there so somehow this this floor has been well, I'm not sure where I got to because the SD card got full again, so I've deleted some old footage. So, look, what we got is James is, looks like a homeless man. So, the second fix socket in the bedroom. So, they said we're going to leave the client in each bedroom, one socket apart from the master, I believe. So, we could allegedly, James, get this circuit on. So, that's one socket done in that bedroom. What I've been doing is drilling out through this wall, as I said, with these big old drill bits one meter long look that's that switch and socket near the door that go through there and then i've come out in the cupboard that's in the middle of the cupboard i'll go down and show you now uh, what we're going to do is wire the bedrooms in a minute me and james and then we're going to um start wiring some bits in this kitchen i think but let me just show you what i've done
So this is where that drill bit is come out. Look on the corner there, that's that corner one. So we've got, at the minute, we've got a, a radial down to this socket, which will loop to the oven and coffee machine. That'll do one radial. And the fridge freezer says no load on it. We'll do a 20 amp radial. And then we've got a feed in at the minute for the lights feed into this switch. And then we've got a switch line out. First one, we're gonna have some LED under plinth lights and LED above cabinet lights. So what we've got to do is get another uh, feed uh, switch line out of here to these cabinets and then another one from there to there and then a switch line to a pendant which we're going to leave a load of slack in the loft because this as I said this ceiling is going to be vaulted and then eventually it'll wire spots and stuff with it so um, I might even leave another one up there just in case they want like pendant somewhere but we'll do that for we'll, we'll just leave two feeds up there drop them into the switch and then tomorrow we'll probably chase all these walls out and get this kitchen done but our main priority today is to get the bedrooms um, first and second fixed. We're just in the bedroom, we just drilled an hole on the angle dangle. What do we drill it on, James? The angle dangle. The angle dangle. He's got his cable tongue. I'm hoping it's gonna come out in this section here. Let's have a look. Where are you, mate? Hold on a minute, I can, I can hear some up. Let's have a look. There's a lot, there we go. Oh ho! Oh, James, woohoo! Right, so what we're going to do today is get this board up here. This one's been up. This one's been up. We're then going to wire these two bedroom sockets here. Clark wants another one over here, double socket, and then we should be able to fish straight over to that one over there with minimal damage, shouldn't we? That's this same room socket wise wired. Obviously, we've got to do wall lights and stuff, but. Um, we we'll do the sockets first. So we'll get a feedback to the board now, mate, this way. For that master, yeah? So we've got a, we've got a socket to go inside this little bedroom here. Drill down as I do on the angle. And then we've hit this massive beam here, look. Got this big old chunky tree in the way. So what I've done is drill a 16 mil hole, 50 mil top from bottom. And then um, in line where I think the drill bits come out. And then we've got the super rod. A chain which will drop down the hole and then you put a magnet which will go through that hole on a rod and then hopefully you're able to do that and pull the chain through and tie your cable on so we'll give that a go now right my rod's in there with the uh, magnet not the magnet with the chain on the end and I've got the rod the magnet on the flexi end here I'm gonna see if I can hook that might be at the wrong angle See if I can hook that. I'll leave that magnet in there. Let's see if I can guess the length of that, roughly there. Stick that in there. And try and get that to flick on it. Look at that, right? it's a cool top man up, look. Friggin' hell, what a great system that is, look. We just managed to do that, pull that through. So now we can put this cable on, onto there. Onto there, James. It's a little bit too much, but it doesn't matter. We'll take that on. We could put the flexi rod on, but we'll just pull through on there, shall we? Yeah. I'm just going to take that onto that chain now and then pull it up to that socket. Oh, on the angle, we're trying to lift, we try not to lift too many of these floors. We've got this flexi rod. We're going to now try and rod down here and hopefully it's going to come out under that floor. Over there. That's my theory. But you've got to remember these a lava and plaster, and there's going to be a lot of crap under these floors. Right. Got a bit of movement there, mate. That's one meter in. That's fine. Yeah. You right? Yeah. Just bang your head? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Shine the, shine the thing on your face. Put the camera on your face. Yeah. Go on. There you go, look. Hello. There he is, banged his head. 
What we're going to do, we can't fish that. We're going to stick the camera, this little cam, no, oh. show me the camera, turn it. Super rod little camera on the rods and stick it under there. And they've got a great feature on here, look. This isn't an ad. When you flip it, it, it keeps upright, doesn't it? It does. Turn the camera, keep flipping it. It keeps top side, look, it's really clever. Stupid reflection, what's that reflection? It's on my phone, isn't it? Anyway, we're gonna stick that under the floor and see what we can see. Go well, on, mate. We'll get a live, we'll get a live viewing of this. I'll stand my phone up, look. My little stand. Where that, where that is. This side. No, yeah, that one. That's it. Keep it upright, otherwise it's gonna bloody. Right, here we go. It's under the floor. Here's all right, right? Yeah, it's large. Pull it, pull it back slowly so I can see. Lift it up. You're right against the wood, mate. Yeah, I can't see anything. Yeah. That's it. No, that'll go. There's cables there. Go on. It's an old cable. That's it. You're above a lava there. Stop. What's that? Ah, oh, that's the cable tongue. Keep going. Yeah, no, it's all clear, mate. Another rod. Get another rod. Hopefully they can see that. It's a really bad reflection of my phone. You're going to put another rod on, look. That's the lava and plaster downstairs. If it goes a bit more, you know what we should have done? Put the hook on the end. Could have put the hook on the end. We'll pull it back out in a minute if we need to. Bless you. Quick then, mate. Quick as you can. He's just putting another rod on it. Old rod neat. Beautiful, go for it. There's the lava and plaster. What great tool. You might have to flick it, mate, because it's lava. It's gone somewhere. Yeah, keep going. It's still going somewhere. Is it? Yeah. It's lava, that's why. You ought to flick the end up, right up. Stop. It's lava and plaster. Anyway, we'll come back to you when we found it. There we go, that's why we can't push our rod anymore because there is a piece of a wood, call it herringbone, whatever you want to call it. Uh, what else do you call it? Not a joist, but uh, just a brace across the wood in the way. Pull it back a bit, mate. Yeah, big old piece of wood there, look. You sausage. Well, I'm not sure how far we got. Look, we just, we fill in as best we can, put in a single, uh, double socket in each room. The client wanted um, USBs either side, but we're not going to fit them yet because they're like 20 quid each. Um, we're just going to fit normal double sockets for now, two and a half quid each. So what we've got to do now is get a socket over here and then one over there that'll be this radial complete then and then tomorrow we're going to focus on lighting in this bedroom and we've got to get a data cable over there for a sonos speaker so we'll probably take that in the loft get a route i reckon come down in this cupboard i reckon bring bring the light in for the bedrooms um actually james the lighting for the bedroom could come this way couldn't it look come up to this switch yeah. from this switch then up into the loft and then the data cable will come up in this cupboard, yeah? Straight up into the loft. Um, so that'll be that route. We could probably put a trunk in or just clip it or do whatever in there. I don't think it matters that much. Um, yeah. N not sure where we are, to be honest. Right, we've got our one double socket that side of the bed. One double socket the other side of the bed. We will change those for USB when the room's ready for it. I've got a double socket in there to chase in it. That's end of line. This will be a radial for this bedroom. And then that's the next socket in line. What I'm going to do now, until I, so I'm going to put these floorboards back now. I'm going to drill an hole and stick a one mil up here, which will do the lighting in this bedroom. Obviously feed to the switch and we'll take our switch lines out. I think the client wants two wall lights, a pendant, and then two, um, two wall lights next to the bed with two switches and a two way to turn off the wall lights from the bed. So I'm going to get on with that now, quick. Good morning. Right, day three on this job. 
we left off yesterday. We got the sockets wired in this bedroom. What I'm going to quickly do now is chase these in. The walls are made out of this horrible, not horrible, but really brittle old stone, Cotswold stone. So we're just oval capping and putting some bandy strap round. One fixing into the wall, bend it round nice and uh, thing. What you know, we're actually going to second fees because the client is coming back regularly to do bits, so they need power. So that's why we put one socket in each room, second fix in, and then they can do what they want with the walls. I've got one more to do over there, and then we're going to get on with some wall lights, one one uh, pendant, and then some over bed lights there. We're doing, we're doing a little wall there. Something solid up there. I don't know what it is. We need to put a wall light here. Look, but what they originally did was go round here, round here, then clip this lead. So we can't follow that route. That one's got a bit of a capping, but it's a funny angle. Goes up like that. Uh, we've drilled the centre light. James is in the loft. He's marked it on the floor. We know where the original cable is for the switch. And then we just drilled two holes up. One, two, where the wall lights and the switches are going to go either side of the bed. So we go upstairs now. Hello. You're playing tricks on me. It's cold up here, isn't it? This is, um, this is lovely. It's definitely a horror film. Blair Witch, mate. Ah! No one there. Um, so where was the... You're roughly there. So that... Oh, it's chipboard. Even yeah. better. <laughs> yeah. So roughly there's the centre light. And then whatever. Somewhere here... Yeah. Is it sounded, the... It sounded like there. And we're going to have to just yeah. cut this up, aren't we? Yeah. Basically. And then... This scoreboard here is loose, which is... So that's probably where the switch is. Yeah. Do you reckon that's the same wall? That's the wall light, do you reckon, there? That one's loose. Yeah? yeah that's and that's the wall right there? Yeah. That's where the bed is, isn't it? All right, well, let's um get set up and we'll um, bring some bits up, mate. Action. Right, look, there's the original lead. There's the original lead. What's that noise? Birds. I'm just a bit paranoid up here. So there's the lead that runs down to the switch, which we can rip out in a minute. James? Right, put the sw put the drill up those holes near the bed. One's gonna be. Ah, oh, I see one. That's it. Yep, yeah. yeah. Where's the? Ah, oh, it's under that board, mate. Right, you're gonna have to bring the multi tool up. Wow, oh, I don't know. It's horrible, isn't it? Um. Why don't we chase across the wall? Why don't we do it all across the wall from one of them? Because it's lava and plaster, isn't it? We'll, we'll, we'll go across the wall. So that's fine, that one, mate. All right, come back up, mate. So there we go. There's the switch line from the, the old... That's our switch. We'd have a feed coming in. That's the old light that's on the beam. And then you've got the two wall lights that come out of these old lead junction boxes look there's our rod from our center light and then we even found the previous guy did right on there trap for electrical junction box so wherever whenever he did that james that's older than me and you probably put together to be fair he should have done shouldn't he yeah. and he didn't leave us any gold but those are new beams and plasterboard so that's been done since because it would have been like this look so any treasure that he left they took it didn't they so I right, was just laying some cables in. That's the original switch down there. We've pulled the feed. Feed's going to come up. Another feed's going to loop over down to the first bedside switch. We can do all that locally downstairs. We've got our first switch wire in, which runs along. We're going to keep that groove, look, original groove there. Clip that um, for the cables. I don't want to cut any more out of this beam, so we'll just use what's there. Um, and then we're going to pull a feed a switch line over to the um, wall lights now. Well, there we go. That was where that hatch was. Uh, that's the beam we had to fish over. There's one wall light. There's enough cable to flick along to the other wall light. So two wall lights. And then we've got our feed in, which comes from the bottom. Our feed out, which goes over to that switch. A pendant switch, which goes to the pendant. And then the wall lights, which goes to the wall lights. And then a free core. A free corner, so we got a bit of two-way switching at the bed here. We might even put another one across, then give them an intermediate, intermediate, so they can switch it. Yeah, so 
So they'll end up with, they got a, they'll have a switch here up to a wall light, 1700. Same over there, switch there, 1700. So we're just gonna get on and do a load of chasing now. What a mission! What a mission! What a mission! Bloop, 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 bloop. I've just added a bit of capping in there, let's just give them a bit of protection, look. Then they're in the wall, in zone, so just because I don't know who the plaster is basically. Well look, second fix this switch, we'll have uh, wall lights pendant, two-way connected. All I do on mine is brown from the free core in the common and then grey in L2, black in L1, switch line in L2 and feed in L1. As long as you keep it the same, this end it'll be absolutely fine. So we've just got a two-way here, a feed in, a feed out, a switch line up to a light. Same there, a feed in and a switch line up to that light. I've stuck a simple pendant up for now, look for the client. I'm doing the last thing of the day today now. I am... Um, just finishing off this socket in the hallway. Um, next week I've got a load of RCBOs coming, then we can get individual rooms on and lighting circuits. That was the whole idea. 